hello student we have already started the portion that is uh, kitchen pharmacy and in this context we are going to see the different parameters involved in kitchen pharmacy now here in the last lecture we have discussed with the types of spices uh, basically there are different types of spices but uh, on primary level we can say that the whole spices and culinary herbs these are the two main types of spices now what is whole spices say for example black cardamom cinnamon cumin seeds bay leaf coriander seeds black pepper all these are known as the whole spices they are used as a whole parameter like a seed or we can say the leaf of that particular parameter is used as a whole spice the another type is there that is known as culinary herb say for example oregano thyme basil dill say coriander parsley uh, sorry parsley uh, these are nothing but the different uh, parameter which is used as a culinary herb now the basic this is nothing but the basic uh, we can say the parameters now moving to the next portion that is spices production and share in a global market we are talking this point as regard to, to the india so indian spices production uh, sorry indian spices production and indian share in a global market so as we know that or from uh, very uh, previous lectures we have gone through the idea that the spices are produced in india in a large quantity particularly in a southern part of our country is having the maximum share in the production of this particular spices so what we say we can say that spices are produced in india as the environmental condition is suitable for the uh, spice production in india so spices are produced in large quantity in india and it is transported and it is given to the other countries as a share or as a shared with other material from the countries so for example uh, from uh, the oil producing countries or crude oil producing countries like uh, uh, we can say the arabian countries so in that particular area we can say the spices is exported and the other material is imported from that particular part so the exchange of different parameters is done with the help of these spices and india is having a great market in a spices and it will having the great opportunity in that particular also now the spices uh, india is the world's largest uh, spice producer as we discussed earlier that it will share large market and it will provides large quantity to the other countries it also the largest consumer of and exporter of the spices so not only we given this material to other country we can take uh, the opportunity of that self the production of different spices has been growing rapidly over the last few years india's share of the global spice export is around 20% in value terms so when we talk about the value of that particular uh, spice it is 20% production in 2022 and 23 stood 11.14 million tons as compared to 11.12 million tons in 2021 so we can say the production is upgrading during 2022 and 23 the export spices from india stood Uh, us dollar that is 3.373 billion and it is uh, 3.46 billion in 2021 and 22 so here we can uh, get an idea that the india is having the opportunities and uh, india uh, is also having that particular uh, climatic condition uh, for the production of the spices so Uh, taking this opportunity uh, as positively uh, we can see that the production not only production but the uh, earning the money or earning the economy from these spices is also increased in last few years so uh, we can say that india is one of the most important uh, spice producing country 
and it is having the opportunity in that spice production now when we uh, take a view uh, of this 2021 and 22 the single largest spice exported from india was chili followed by spice oils and olive olive resins mints production cumin turmeric these are the products we can say in india uh, india produce about 75 of 109 varieties which are listed by in, uh, international organization for uh, standardization the most produced and exported spice are pepper cardamom chili ginger turmeric coriander cumin etc large number of produce products are there that is uh, shared or we can say exported to the other countries particularly talking about the chili chili is having the great market uh, in a export we can say uh, along with that uh, we can take another example onion so uh, one of the uh, part of in, uh, maharashtra is also having that particular uh, onion production and this onion is having a demand in uh, other countries uh, because it is having the uh, large capacity to restore or it will remain uh, unharmed or we can say it will remain uh, very good condition for a long duration out of these spices chili cumin turmeric ginger and coriander make up about 76% of the total production so these are the most important uh, product india produced and export to the other countries and this is having the 76% of the total production so these are the few uh, spices particularly talking about chili cumin turmeric and ginger along with the coriander so this is nothing but the uh, global market and the indian global market or share of india in global market the largest spices producing state in india are madhya pradesh rajasthan gujarat andhra pradesh telangana karnataka maharashtra assam orissa uttar pradesh west bengal tamil nadu and kerala the sequence of this uh, states or sequence of this particular area is uh, variable uh, say for example uh, mostly in a south or region south region of the india Uh, the production of spices is more so uh, when we compare this particular states the production is vary and the production of particular type of uh, material is also variable say for example in a kerala spices are produced uh, say for example black pepper uh, cumin these are the most properly uh, grown in kerala whereas uh, when we talk about maharashtra in maharashtra the ginger production then turmeric production and onion production these are the most uh, important parameters grown in uh, maharashtra so likewise uh, we can say different states is having the speciality of different production of different spices now the question is there why these different uh, states is having uh, different types of spices the important thing is the Uh, availability of conditions weather conditions in that particular area so when we talk about kerala uh, we can say that there will be a humid uh, environment is there the rainfall is quite good and the temperature is a moderate temperature in that particular area so the suitable uh, spices will grow in that area so likewise when talk about the uh, maharashtra madhya pradesh rajasthan the different environmental conditions helps to grow different types of spices in this particular area so this is nothing but the uh, parameter which involves in the production of this now talking about special region say for example southern region in india kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh states are the leading spice producing area so here the environmental condition is good and that's why it will produce large number of spices among these 40 percent production come from kerala tamil nadu and other part for example black pepper turmeric cardamom these are the most important products now due to production of this uh, large quantity kerala is called a spice garden of india kerala is a major black pepper and cardamom producer or producing region tamil nadu and andhra pradesh are turmeric and chili producer states so as we discussed earlier or as we talked about the earlier part that 
the different environmental conditions available in different param, uh, different states is having this particular production so chili is produced maximally in uh, tamil nadu andhra pradesh turmeric is also produced in tamil nadu now western region of india that is gujarat maharashtra and rajasthan produces 30% of the spice uh, production so when we talk about the percentage of the production we can say that kerala and southern part of the uh, india is having the more production of these spices that is 40% as compared to other that is western region of india gujarat is there maharashtra is there and rajasthan is there they will produce 30% of spices and the remaining part is produced through through the uh, northern part of the country uh, like uh, jammu kashmir is there then Raj, uh, some part of rajasthan is there Him himachal pradesh is there so the remaining part that is 30% is produced from the northern part of the india so we stop with this uh, in today's lecture uh, in upcoming lecture we are continuing this particular uh, part that is the production of the spices in india